Hello everyone, welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can capture screenshots in Selenium WebDriver. Now, Selenium WebDriver uh, provides you an interface, uh, takes a screenshot, and you can utilize uh, the methods available in take screenshot to capture uh, the screenshot in Selenium WebDriver. And now why do you need to capture screenshots uh, when your uh, script is executing? Uh, there might be many scenarios wherein uh, you want to verify certain things on the screenshot um, or on the interface, then you need to capture those uh, you know, screenshots and uh, look those later. Or in case of failure, you want to take screenshot whether you know uh, what happened or what was the cause of the failure. So it's, Capturing screenshots in automation and embedding them into your reports is very, very important. So we need to learn uh, in Selenium WebDriver as well how you can go ahead and capture a screenshot. So let's go to Selenium documentation. And here I'll go to download. And let me open the Java docs. Okay, so let's... now here in the Java docs, if you just search for take screenshot, this is the interface that you will utilize to capture a screenshot. And if we go through the details of the method summary, you will see this interface has get screenshot as, and then we can specify the output type and the target. Okay. So let's go back to Eclipse and uh, use uh, or use this particular, you know, interface and the method to capture the screenshot. And you can see the example usage is already given here. So we simply have to, you know, uh, specify uh, you know we have to cast the driver with the take screenshot and then we can use the method get screenshot as and specify the output type okay so this is the line that we can utilize to capture the screenshot I'll simply copy it and go to Eclipse ID all right I'll remove all these uh, imports and here what I'm doing is I'm simply opening ebay.com and I want to capture the screenshot for this particular page. Okay, so I can simply paste the uh, take screenshot, you know, example that we have taken. And uh, then we can simply import. So import take screenshot from um, the open QA Selenium and file from java.io. Okay, and then output type as well. All right, so now the screenshot file or screenshot will be taken for ebay.com and we have to save it into a, you know like either jpeg or png in order to view it so this is the only line that you'll need in order to take the screenshot but if you want to view or save it then there is another utility that you have to import so the other utility that you have to import is commons.io so uh, this comes from commons.apache.org uh, and comments io is the library that you need to import if you are uh, you know not using maven you simply download the this particular utility and once you download you simply go ahead in the project just right click and go to build path and configure build path and go to libraries add um, external jars and then select the external jar that you have downloaded and um, then simply uh, add that particular jar but because we are using the maven project so what we can do is we, we can simply you know go to the uh, maven repository and here i can simply say um, commons io search for that and then apache commons io is what we are looking for and just select the latest version and i'll simply copy this All right and here I'll go back into pom.xml and add that particular dependency. All right, and save it. So now that you know um, utility will be imported successfully. You can see that it is building. It is downloading commons.io jar, and once the download is finished, it will successfully add that into. The maven dependencies all right so if we scroll down we should be able to see commons io 2.7 jar has been successfully added right so this is the utility that we need in order to save this particular file 
Now in order to save this file, what we need to do is we simply need to add, you know, uh, the line file utils and then copy file, right? So we can simply say copy file and then provide the source and destination. Okay, so the source file is the screenshot file that we have copied or we have saved the screenshot, right? And destination is what we have, where we have to particularly save this particular file. Okay, so in the destination, you have to specify the particular location. All right, so in order to uh, specify the location uh, and please note that if you hover over this copy file method, right? copy file method you will see that it ha this the source file is the file type and the destination is also type file so we have to say uh, new and then file and then provide the destination so here i can simply say uh, i'll store it in the uh, project directory so i'll say dot slash and then screenshot provide the screenshot folder and I'll say uh, screen.png all right so once we have done this I'll simply import or uh, add throws declaration it is already imported so and you have to make sure that you this particular you know file utils class is imported successfully if it is not then you'll get you know error simply import from org apache commons io okay and the error will be gone so now what this will do is it will open ebay.com capture the screenshot and store that particular screenshot in the project directory so there will be a directory created screenshot and the name file name will be screen.png now let's run this code and see that the screenshot is captured successfully and stored in the location that we have specified. So let's go back and refresh. So you can see the screenshot folder got created and there is a screen.png file that got captured and stored in this particular location, right? Now, if I want to run this particular code again, uh, then it will again capture the same screenshot and it won't create another you know separate file it will overwrite the same existing file with the new screenshot okay so if we you know, stop this then uh, say i'll simply refresh it again so what it does is it does it creates the same screenshot again and again and it basically you know like overrides in the same file now what we can do is the better way is to basically you know uh, name the screenshot as per the timestamp okay so that's how in the actual scenarios that you'll be you know when you are capturing the screenshot you won't be hard coding the file name you will be basically providing the you know uh, file name as per the timestamp so that every with every execution there is a new file name that's got created because timestamp won't repeat right i mean it it uh, will be unique every after every execution so in order to do that what you simply use uh, you need to do is you can use the date class right so there is a date class in java so we can say we can create an object of the date class so we can say uh, you know new date right and then just i'll store it in the date object so we can say um, current date all right import the date class from java.util all right and then if i simply print this current date you will see the current date being printed successfully okay so let me comment this out and run the first the date and so you so here you can see the date is getting printed okay now we'll simply you know um modify this date into a string format and then use this date to basically name our screenshots as per the date timestamp okay so what we can do here is now we can say simply say current date dot to string okay so we'll, we want to you know uh, change this to to string okay 
and then we can do some manipulation on this particular string okay so what we can do is we can replace so i want to replace the spaces with some characters and the colons with some you know special characters so we can simply replace the old character so old character i want to replace is the space and the new character that i want to replace is um, hyphen okay and then again i want to replace colon okay because you can see there are colons as well okay so i want to replace the colon with the new character again hyphen all right and then we can say i'll simply say uh, this as uh, screenshot file name and store it in the string okay so i can say string screenshot file name okay and now if i print this i'll simply print the screenshot file name on the console and show you how this particular string looks like and i'll just comment that out so if i run this and you can see now the spaces are replaced with hyphen and the colons are also replaced with hyphen now we can use this particular string to name our screenshot files okay now how we'll use it i'll uncomment the lines here okay and simply what we need to do is we'll simply append so i can simply say um, append this name with the screenshot file name so i can say screenshot file name all right and then again at last dot png all right so now what will happen is every time when you are trying to save or capture the screenshot it will uh, you know it will get the timestamp from the current date okay and then we have done some string manipulation we have taken that timestamp into the string and then manipulated that string to you know have the hyphens and using that to store the file name okay and then appending the png type there okay so let me uh, save it and format the code okay and run this so now you will see that in the same screenshot folder there will be you know uh, a file name with the timestamp that gets created every time you run the code all right so let me refresh it and you can see that a new file got created with the timestamp that we have specified all right if i run it again there will be another file that will get created with a new timestamp okay and the old file won't be overwritten and that's how you will be actually doing the screen capture in your project so if we refresh this again and you can see another file got created and it has another timestamp the name as another timestamp so that's how you will take the screenshot in any selenium script and store it uniquely in your project and now there are many you know better ways to do it so basically you know like we'll have this current uh, date and we'll do all the string manipulation in a different you know uh, method and then we'll just call the methods here i have simply you know done everything in one particular script to show you how you will do it but uh, actually when we are going through you know um, the scenarios or when we are going through the framework then you will see how we'll you know modularize all this code into different you know um, folder structure different classes and methods and that will you know overall give you a better picture of how you will be designing your framework and using all these utilities that we are discussing now in your actual automation so that's all about taking screenshot in selenium webdriver hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching